Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory, here in The Sims 4, where we are going to be using custom content and quite a bit of creativity to crossbreed many different species in order to see what the adorable results of their little babies would be. And today, today my friends, is an extremely special day. Because any of you who have been around the pixel biology community for a while now, any of you who have listened in my streams when I suddenly start screaming because a squirrel has jumped on my window, any of you who have looked at my Instagram or Twitter and noticed that there is a, a little bit of a bushy-tailed theme to the wildlife I like to take pictures of around my home, will know how important to me Patches the Fox Squirrel is. Yes, Patches! The Patches! That Patches, Patches who is the muse of my heart, who probably has, no joke, hundreds of pictures from my wildlife camera of him, Patches who actually is the star of his very own calendar, a custom photo calendar that I made chips for Christmas this past Christmas. I love, love, love Patches our Fox Squirrel. For those of you guys who don't know Patches, he is a fox squirrel who is clearly male and is the kind of dominant squirrel for our little deck area. So he kind of rules our backyard basically. And we learned very quickly that when we moved here and we put out any bird seed, it would not actually go to birds. There don't seem to be that many birds in our little patch of Michigan, unfortunately. Uh, if we lived in a different spot maybe but where we lack birds we learned to love the arrival of patches and patches is a like i mentioned fox squirrel his territory covers our backyard and he is beautiful he is stunningly beautiful if the pictures and videos that i have been showing you now have not convinced you otherwise then i i simply i think you need to like rub your eyes clean them a little bit or something because he's stunningly gorgeous i am used to gray squirrels and more typical squirrels that you see further south in the united states who are not nearly so fluffy colorful and they have not those tails the beautiful tails of a fox squirrel they're just stunning so i really love fox squirrels because they are so beautiful they're actually very interesting uh because they're a lot bigger than most other squirrels so they're sassy and confident they don't really have the same sort of nervous personality that gray squirrels do and they're not nearly as aggressive and terrifying as the tiny red squirrel the red squirrel is also another favorite species of mine that is native to the area do not let its tiny size fool you if this red squirrel could like beat you up it would <laughs> They're very hard to find in sea, and they're very territorial. So when you go into a red squirrel territory, you are going to hear its angry little chitter. All of that said, I love Patches the fox squirrel, and learning about him and seeing him off of the back of our deck and getting to interact with him, not in, like, don't pet the wildlife, guys. I mean by observing him day after day in terms of interacting, has really made me appreciate squirrels in a level that I never thought I would. And so I thought this month when we are dabbling in our wonderful pixel biology random pets genetics challenge, why not celebrate with patches? My beautiful, beautiful squirrel! And yes, we do have a squirrel here in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, largely, as always, in thanks to the amazing Kalino. So Kalino actually made the custom content uh, that makes the little ears here. So let me actually back up a little bit. Eh, there we go. Come on. All right, there we go. So Kalino made pretty much everything you're looking at here. She made the ears, so you can find in the links in the video description a link to all of her work, which shows you these beautiful ears that go on top of the squirrel. Also, the extremely bushy tail is a custom content piece from her as well. And the fingers that make it so that you have those little squirrely fingers are part of her work as well. This is actually the squirrel base too that you can find if you go over to dun 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 her profile so this is actually her squirrel saved in my library i don't reshare what other people make in my library just so you guys know uh, but if you go over to her player profile you will be able to find in the catalog under the custom content section the beautiful squirrel base and from there you can create pretty much any variety of squirrel that your heart may need such as the fox 
squirrel. So I actually changed the coloration on this guy to look much more like Patches the fox squirrel. Uh, I probably could have made him a little bit more- Oh, hi, Patches! I'm talking about you! <laughs> yeah! Oh gosh, guys, that's funny. He just showed up on the tree in front of my window while we were talking about this. I'll give you some bird seeds in a minute. Don't worry, my friends. Uh, and ironically, by you guys watching this and the ads going by, you're helping me to feed Patches with birdseed. Yay! Thank you! Patches thanks you guys! <laughs> but yeah, so this is my version of what a fox squirrel would look like in The Sims 4. And I actually think I need to change a couple more things now that I'm looking at him again. I'm gonna make the nose, the nose nose, that's better. That's what was throwing me off. I was like, there is something, ah, there is something not quite what it should be. Uh, and then I think I'm actually going to, let's do this a little bit. Yeah, this is what we need. Fox squirrels are beautifully, vibrantly, uh, very vibrant in color. And actually this is much more aligned with what he actually, here in the inside of the ears, needs to be orange too. I mean, he looks like a pumpkin cat now, or excuse me, <clears throat> a pumpkin squirrel now, right? But this is really what they look like. This is why I've learned to love squirrels because of patches. And I'm actually going to lighten this up. And, cause there's so many colors. They have like these really vibrant orange faces. They have these dark tops to their heads so they can kind of blend in with the trees that they're on. But then they have these really, really pale little cute bellies that are just like a soft little cream color. Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> And I'm going to love them even more by looking at some of their babies. So this is the fox squirrel, Patches. And today, and the real one is actually laying on the branch staring me in the eyes. I will hurry, Patches. I will hurry. But today, we are going to go ahead and see what would it look like if Patches the fox squirrel had kittens. So we're going to get a couple cats. We will pick a purebred cat and then the first mixed breed cat that really catches my eye. Uh, catches my eye, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> then we will look at their kittens, but in the future, I'm feeling it in my bones, you guys. This may be the month of squirrels, where we will celebrate by seeing what other kinds of creatures we could possibly breed our fox squirrel with. But without further ado, let's get ourselves some kitty cats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like an undercover manx with a sphinx skin. That is hilarious. All right, I'm going to go ahead and roll a dice. It says one, so we're gonna pick the first random breed uh, for Patches's mate. <gasps> and it's a Toinkinese! Oh, that sounds adorable. This is gonna be really fun to see. I, I actually have no experience with Toinkinese. Uh, they look a lot like Siamese, but if you guys are familiar with these breeds, do please let me know. We're going to make it friendly, a free spirit, and talkative, because it reminds me of my mother's Siamese. And we're gonna name her Tina the Toinkinese. How cute is that? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. And then we're gonna go ahead and get one more cat. And this one, Actually, this is a really great cat right here. Look at all of these features. There are a lot of distinctive features on the German Rex. Uh, I did, let's do a mixed breed German Rex. Let me roll the dice again. The dice says six. So we're gonna have Rex, let's see. German Rex will be, a white German Rex will be one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this'll do. So we're gonna do a German Rex crossbreed. And this is going to be, um, hmm. Genevi, Gen Geneva, Geneva, hmm. We're gonna go with uh, Jenny with, with a G. I actually think that's pretty good. And it, maybe her fancy name is like Geneva uh, Fluff and Boots or something like that. We'll make her a little spoiled, but we're gonna make her really friendly. So she, she wanders around the neighborhood because she's a little frisky. She is very spoiled at home, but she's very friendly. And maybe Jenny and Tina are friends and they wandered by and met Patches. And all right, so let's go ahead and have two kits with, uh, actually, let's see. We can have three, four kits. Hmm, let's just do this. There we go. Oh my gosh. Baby kitten fox squirrels would be so cute. All 
right, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna see how many babies we're gonna have with each cat. You can have eight Sims. So we have five left. Who gets, okay. And it looks like Jenny, the second cat. Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and see what it looks like. What? Patches? What is going on here? <laughs> oh my goodness. Like. Tina, Tina, your child looks completely normal. Uh, okay, okay, ah, gosh, I'm just, I'm so excited. Okay, all right, well, let's just do this. We're gonna do, let's do two each, that's what we'll do. And then whichever group seems to be the most interesting, we'll go ahead and have another one. I probably should have stick, like, stuck to one parent, but that's okay. Also, Patches, how do I make sure that your paint mode doesn't, there we go. I think this should prevent paint mode from like overwriting everything. But score <laughs> so cute. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Tina and Patches would end up having these two kittens. Oh my gosh, his little ears in that picture are so cute. The real Patches is like very eager for me to put out some bird seeds. Uh, then we're gonna have, <gasps> yes! I love this so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's another one. Okay. And then let's have Jenny. So we've got an interesting mix going on here so far. So we've got one, two. In fact, I really should have only done two parents. I'll remember or one parent. I'll remember that in the future, my friends. I just, I couldn't help myself. I got kind of excited. Uh, and then let's see. Let's actually try. I'm really actually curious about Tina the Twinkinies. I want to see one more child. Oh. Oh, you're cute. We're going to keep this this random stray kitten. I don't even know who you're a mixed breed with, but you are so cute. <laughs> oh, my heart. Look at the little head on this one. Okay, this was a good mix. Next time, I'll only do one parent at a time, though, because you get really eager to see, like, a wider variety, and you can only have eight. But all right. Let's go ahead and see how the little kits would look. We are going to actually roll a dice to see if they're going to inherit any of the fox squirrel traits as well. Uh, and as usual, let's try to name them really quickly too. I'm actually going to go ahead and name this little one. These are Tina the Twinkinese's children. Little boy. We're gonna go with Tommy. Let's go ahead and make him clever, a free spirit, and friendly, because he just seems very thoughtful to me. And then this is such a little cutie. Oh my gosh, is this a boy or a girl? It's a little boy. So Tommy and, uh, let's see, Tommy and Timmy. Why not? I think that this guy is extremely frisky. I think he's very friendly, but I also think he's a little skittish. He just, oh, that's so cute. I mean, isn't that the most precious little expression? Then we have, oh, this is so cool. This is a little girl. So we're actually gonna name her, let's see, we have Patches. Let's go with, um, hmm, Petunia. I think we had a Petunia recently though. Hmm, but we're gonna go with Petunia anyway, or let's do Violet. There we go, because there are some Violets growing in my yard as well. And I think she's actually going to be fluffy, a bit of a prowler who's exploring things. And I think she's going to be a little aloof. That's what I'm getting from Violet here. She really looks so cool. Oh, wow, this is awesome. It kind of reminds me of like having the fox coloration on a cat, except this time it's a fox squirrel. <laughs> and then her brother here, let's see. What are we gonna name you? Actually, Rusty, Cajun, Kipper, Shy Morel, Morel? I, I, I actually kind of like that. Let's just go with Sai. I kind of really like that. Uh, he is gonna be, I think, very curious, aloof, and clever. And then finally, little Acorn, which I use so often as a name, but I just, I mean, look at this precious baby. I just, how could you not want to scoop that big-headed little thing up and just snuggle it? I'm gonna make her affectionate. I'm gonna make her a little skittish because she likes to be reassured that everything is gonna be okay. <gasps> Look at those ears! And I'm going to make her uh, friendly. I just I think Patches would have a lot of friendly children. Uh, all right, so let's do this, guys. Tommy. Are you going to grow up with the fox squirrel traits and what would it look like when you did? He's literally chittering at me! That was amazing! 
<laughs> okay, and he was literally chittering at me. He ended up getting, I'm rolling a dice, so whoops. Oh my gosh, and he kind of has like a foxy face, like a little fox squirrely face I made. That is so funny. So he ended up getting both the ears. So I need to find my little fox squirrel ears. I know you're here somewhere. This is the bunny ears. There's the squirrel ears. Oh. <laughs> So he got the ears and the toes, so he, but he did not get the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and give him no tail uh, because he did not get the fox squirrel tail and he had a skeleton tail. So we'll just say that like he ended up with no tail instead. He kind of looks a little bit odd. I'm not going to lie. The coloration of him sort of makes me go like... Uh, it feel a little uncomfortable somehow, especially with the fingers, but you know, that's what Tommy would look like. Let's see what Timmy would look like all grown up and let me roll the dice to see what he would- Oh, <gasps> he inherited everything! We're gonna have a really foxy Siamese squirrel cat. That sounds amazing. <gasps> and he's gonna be fluffy with red eyes. What is this? That is too cool. Look at that tail. Look at that beautiful tail. And he actually, that's funny because they have two different voices. So his brother inherited the chittering, but he inherited having a normal voice. And let's see, whoops, wrong ears. We want these ears. Oh, he's beautiful, you guys. And these toes, I actually really like him. The fingers are kind of freaky, but honestly, like, you wouldn't really know that he's anything other than a really, really, like, exotic Siamese at first. Meanwhile, let's see. Rolling the dice. Ooh, okay. And then with a little Violet here. <gasps> she inherited her dad's voice! And she also actually inherited her dad's fingers and tail, which is good because she randomized this tail again. Uh, but she did not inherit the ears. However, she has a set of lovely ears herself. So she really has just kind of turned into a little bit of a cat-like squirrel here. And I actually think she's very, very lovely. So there you go, Violet. You definitely have more of the wild side in you. And what about with little Sai here? Let's see what he ends up with. The dice say that he is actually going to end up with the ears and the tail, but not the fingers, which is gonna be pretty cool looking. Oh, you gotta grow up, little Sai. He's got the voice and look at his tiny little face. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is so cute. So he's got the big, fluffy, beautiful tail and he has actually inherited those fingers as well. So Patches' children are really gonna be able to like open up a bunch of nuts because they have just got those little fingers pretty much across the board. Oh my gosh, they really do. So far, every single one of Patches' children have inherited his nimble fingers and it looks like itty bitty little acorn is no exception. So she inherited the ears and she inherited the fingers, but not the tail. So acorn, little mystery kitten born to a cat we never saw. <gasps> she got the tail anyway. You guys look at her. Oh my gosh. There are so many favorites here. I don't even know who to pick. I don't even know like... Who would you pick if you had a favorite? Oh, Acorn! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so tiny. She's so small. I love her. I love her. And I really love that Violet inherited Patches' beautiful coloring. Definitely looks amazing. And Timmy, honestly, like the fingers kind of freak me out a little bit. But everything else, beautiful to see that on a Siamese. But Acorn. I think Acorn just stole the show. So next time I might even just go ahead and like have completely random mixed breeds and not even look to see what the other parent would be. Because that result patches. That result is truly amazing. Oh my gosh. But all right, guys. So thank you so much for letting me indulge in my love of this very fluffy squirrel. I do want to try breeding him a little bit more in the future because it is so much fun to see how these experiments turn out. And I do hope you have been enjoying our normal episodes of our Random Pets Laboratory Challenge as well. If you would like to join us for those and see how our challenge to reach 100 randomly bred cats will go, do please check those out and make sure you leave comments if you want to end up being 
named after one of the creatures in our lab or even becoming a laboratory assistant. So thank you guys so much. If you could do please leave a like to help Patches, the real Patches, actually get some more bird seed. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, guys, stay curious and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.